Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Uh, today's beer comes from Against the Grain Brewery Guys and Smokehouse. These guys are in Kentucky. This was sent to me by Jason and Julie. Uh, this is the 2017 edition. So this one has been selling for a while. And the note that Jason sent to him says here the statement for later is dated but very small. So he put the tape on the top up here, guys. It says... Uh, and, and wrote the code for you and it says 08517 so that's the 85th day of 2017 which is according to what Jason's saying March 26th of 2017 uh, he said he's had it in his closet for two years so wow I, pre I appreciate him donating and sending this to me when he's been selling it hopefully you had more than one of these Jason and you get to try one of them and you didn't send me the only one that you had uh, I mean I'm very humbled uh, I'm sure this is going to be a tasty beer uh, I've had a, some of the against the grain breweries beer sent to me before and they do make a very tasty beer uh, he says, uh, I'm guessing you and the other half will really enjoy this one. So, uh, I'm sure we will. Uh, he has uh, put some electrical tape on. A lot of guys do that when they send bottles on there. Especially these high dollar bottles. I'm sure this was not a cheap bottle of beer to buy. Uh, using these barrel aged beers. Especially in these big monster ABVs like this one at 13%. Are uh, rather pricey to buy. Uh, so, uh, with that being said, uh, like I said, he did put the, the date on here, uh, and they use a code, guys, uh, 08517, so that's the 85th day of 2017. Like I said, I'm repeating myself, so I don't want this to be a 30-minute video. So let's get on with this. Uh, Beer Advocate does have it listed at 13%, and when I went over to Untapped, they have pictures of the beer, and I'm clicked on one of those pictures and then it has 13% on the label. It's the exact same bottle I have, but they have it listed at 12.5%. I don't understand that when they're showing pictures of a 13% label. Ah, they must be smoking some good shit over there too. I don't know. So, you're showing pictures of a 13% ABV label, but you're listing it at 12.5%. Must be some good shit, that's all I can say. Anyway. It is what it is. We don't have any IBUs. They don't have a commercial description. It is a barrel aged and Russian imperial stout, guys. So, final beer of the evening for me. Once again, Jason and Julie, I do appreciate you sending this to me, knowing that you've had it in your cellaring closet or fridge uh, <coughs> for two years. Uh, like I said, I really hope that you didn't send me the only one that you had, guys, because this is a retired beer. They're not doing it anymore. Uh, so, a big, big bottle here. Uh, see what it says as far as size. I don't think it's telling me what size bottle it is, but it is a big bottle here, guys. Uh, it looks bigger than a 22 ounce bomber, but it's not telling you what the. I don't know. It's definitely enough to share, which I intend to do, guys. So, with that being said, let me get the cap off of this and see what this brings to the table. Nice hiss. Smoke coming out of the top. I do like these Imperial Russian styles, especially when they're bourbon barrel age, guys. Blows my hair back a lot of times. My socks off. Do the old Woody thing. Ah, nah, not really. 
into the glass we go here, guys. We're going to pour it right straight down the center. And it doesn't look like it's going to produce hardly any head at all. And, yep. And we still got a half a bottle here. And definitely enough to pour her a glass of this. I'm sure she will enjoy it, just like I'm going to. About a half a finger of head on that pour. Very nice looking beer. Pitch black, guys. Not getting any light at all. Let's get it to the nose and see what we can decipher from what this brewery is doing. Oh, yeah. Big bourbon nuts. And I really, really appreciate that when they say it's a bourbon barrel aged beer. And you can smell it. And you can taste it. And you're not spending your hard-earned money on something that's supposed to be a bourbon barrel beer. And they left it in there for two days and took it back out. I mean, uh, I don't understand why a lot of breweries don't leave it in there to where you can get that bourbon. I do understand. I take that back. They don't want the bourbon overpowering everything else. But if I'm paying high dollar for a beer and it's bourbon barrel aged, I want it to overpower everything else. I want to be able to taste it. I want to be able to smell it. And if I don't, I won't buy it again. So, anyway, I digress. Bourbon notes are there, guys. Rich roasted malt. Outstanding bourbon notes on this. Maybe some black molasses. Maybe get some hint of some dark fruit in there once it warms up. Awesome aroma. Absolutely outstanding. I am getting that. The bourbon is off the chain and that's what I want to smell and taste when I spend big bucks for a beer. Awesome. Let's dive in. Cheers, Jason and Julie. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, that's smooth for a 13 percenter. The bourbon notes are there, rich roasted malt, black molasses, maybe a hint of some bittersweet chocolate. Maybe even some dark fruit in there once it warms up. I'm getting a hint of some, some woodiness from the oak barrels. Maybe a little bit of vanilla and coconut from the barrels. Mmm. That beer is very, very tasty, guys. Super tasty. A great final beer of the evening for me. And today is the uh, final day of November, the 30th. It's a Saturday evening. I ain't got to go to work tomorrow. I'm going to enjoy this. This is very, very tasty. Might have to go out on the deck and fire up a cigar to go with it. What do you think? Yeah. Celebrate. Celebrate. So we're going to pour her a glass. I'm going to sip on this a while and we'll come back and give it a grade. I like it. Alright guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it for a while now. I loved it. The other half loved it. Uh, this is a very tasty, exceptional beer. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's not as sweet as I was hoping it was going to be, but it doesn't say anything about them introducing any kind of lactose in the brewing process. But the bourbon notes are there, guys. Uh, uh, very tasty. Uh, I enjoyed this. A great final beer of the evening for me. Uh, Jason, thanks again. You and Julie, I do appreciate you both uh, sending me this beer, especially when you've been cellaring this beer for two years. And again, I hope you have one to drink yourself or have had it before. Uh, not sent the only one you had to me. Uh, I enjoyed this. Uh, against the Grain Brewing does really tasty beers guys uh, if you can get your hands on their beers they're out of Kentucky uh, you ought to pick up some of their stuff uh, they do make a bunch of different things and if you're into uh, the Imperial Russian Imperial Stout Bourbon Barrel Age this is a very excellent candidate to pick up and it has sold very well over the two years uh, that it's been in the bottle so uh, very enjoyable beer guys uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this I'm on the fence between a 9 and a 10, especially since they're doing some kind of code instead of having a month, day, and a year on it. Uh, and on the bottle, uh, it doesn't say uh, what vintage it is. So uh, evidently they're, they're maybe using these labels over and over again. I'm not sure on that, especially since this one has 13% and beer, I mean, uh, untapped has it at 12.5 and the pictures I have of it had 13% on the bottle. So I don't, I don't know. Uh, it is what it is. Final joke. And still, 
sipping on it for 30 minutes or so, it still has an excellent bourbon notes. Uh, maybe a little bit of dark fruit in there. Very tasty beer. And for a 13 percenter, that alcohol is well hidden. Please drink this one at home. I don't know if they put these in kegs or anything where you can get it at a brewery or a brew pub. I mean a brewery, uh, a brew pub or a bar or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm sure if they did, they're all gone by now. So unless you have a bottle in your closet or fridge, the 2017 is gone. I'm sure, guys. Very, very tasty, guys. It is super tasty. Uh, Definitely worth picking up, and it's selling very, very well, guys. Uh, and I'm going to go against the gra a grain against the grain on this. Uh, uh, I was between a 9 and a 10 on this, and the only thing that's keeping me from giving it a 10 is because of the code that they're using. Uh, uh, instead of having a month, day, and a year on it. And that's why I'm reserved to giving it a 10. If you say, oh my God, it's a 10 beer. It's the best thing I ever tasted. Oh my God, it took me back in the closet and, and whatever. Uh, guys, I'm going to give it a 99 out of 100. Uh, because of the dating that they're using. Some kind of code. Uh, I want to see that either on the label or a month, day, and a year on the bottle. And, it's, and, and that's just me though guys, that's just me. Don't base what you're going to buy or what you're going to spend your money on or, or what you like. I'm just one guy. I'm just one guy. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. I want to see some kind of vintage on the label or a month, day, and a year stamp somewhere so I know that it was put in the bottle in 2017 uh, and and not, uh, and he had to actually put, put a piece of tape on there with that code on it because it had been smudged off or very hard to see. So I want to see them do a little better in that aspect, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. 99 out of 100, kicking the door down to be a 10 beer. If it had that on the label or a month and a year stamp somewhere in a bright ink, yellow, white, uh, blue, uh, something other than a black ink on a dark brown bottle with a black beer in it where you can't see it with the beer in there, it would get it would get that from me. Uh, it is a 10 beer in a 9 bottle as far as I'm concerned. That's where I'm going to leave it. Uh, over to beer, I'm going to say 93. I think it's better than a 93, guys. No doubt. And over to Untapped, they have it at 4.27. I think it's better than that, guys. So that's, uh, that is their A, A beer. Uh, a minus beer somewhere in that area and uh, I'm giving it a lot better grade than both of those guys are because it is an impressive beer very smooth easy drinking beer for a 13 percenter so if you've had the 2017 edition a pretty willies imperial stout they're calling it on the bottle here stave it for a later uh, 13 percent let me know what you think guys until we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge